Whoa, whoa, Dallas, you have no sound. I, I have plenty of sound. Summer had no sound. I wasn't allowing you to see this. Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello, and welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. Uh, today we're going to be painting up lightsabers. Um, I have a whole selection of lightsabers here. Seven blades, to be precise. Seven blades, um, ironically, is the number that comes in a Shatterpoint box. Interesting. Um, but of course, this will be useful for any uh, Legion painting or even um, just anything you want to paint, like nice and glowy and punchy. Uh, we're going to use a lot of inks today. I'm going to discuss the philosophy of how we approach in the studio and I approach personally how I paint lightsabers and hopefully it'll translate over uh, to what you're doing and help you out if you're stuck, stumped, or stupefied on how to paint lightsaber. So I'm going to kick it to the minicam. Actually, I'm not. Just like I have plenty of sound. Summer's going to kick it to the minicam. Can I do it? Can I do it? <clears throat> yeah. Can you do it? You need better elevator music. How about a little bit of a... Ooh, <clears throat> ooh, yeah, paint lightsabers today. Don't you know that's what I want to do when I see you paint those lightsabers today? That's my song. That was really good. That's today's song. Uh, what color should we start with? Um, I was thinking red, blue, uh, green. Yellow, orange, purple. Um, is that all of it? Red, blue, green, yellow, orange, purple. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you say red? Red, blue, green, red yellow, orange, purple, white, white, white. Which we just painted the other day, but that's fine. What should we start with, gang? I got one hour to paint seven lightsabers. I've got fifty minutes. Paint those lightsabers today. Purple is the one that should go to the top. What you want? No, I can't lead with the hits. Come on. That's called an encore. Uh, I think we should start with. Let's just start with uh, blue. I want to start with blue. So I have a lightsaber here primed up and ready to go. This is black primer. This is um um some off-white paint um it's um it's just called off-white by uh scale 75 and i like an off-white that's a little bit on the green side or uh, yellow side sorry a little bit on the yellow side um, this gives a good foundational start for most of our lightsabers um, you can reinforce this i did it with an airbrush uh, very quickly this morning but i do sometimes like to reinforce this with just more off-white. I'm gonna push that all the way down to the emitter side of the brush. Let that dry. We're just gonna do a couple of these while we let them dry. Are you gonna be able to do this with the spinning? I think I'll be in here a couple times, to be honest. <laughs> yeah? That's okay. That's right. Paint those lightsabers today. Mm -hmm. Once that dries, we can paint it green, we can paint it blue, we can paint it yellow if you wanted to. Now, philosophy behind all these colors will translate to any color you want, to be perfectly honest. Um, if you wanted to do, um, you know, those are kind of the basic colors. They're sort of the starting points of lightsabers. Um, you know, they're, they're essentially your primary and secondary colors. Um, if you wanted to get more tertiary, the, the philosophies will all apply to the colors you're working on. And if you have a specific color in mind, please let me know and we'll talk about maybe you know, well, what about this color? And I can give you like a little short guide or some advice on where to start. All right, I see classic three, or classic three, classic green. <laughs> so for classic green, I actually want to start with yellow. 
I want to start with the color yellow. I'm going to use a little yellow ink and a little white, a little off-white. I want to make a really, really, really punchy color. So this will be the classic green. And while we're at it, we might as well paint the yellow saber. This will be one you want to go back and reference to, so you better get ready to bookmark this one when it goes up on YouTube's. Just a little quick zip and zip. Look how yellow that is already. We're almost done. Red, we'll do red. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a blue over here. We got Anakin Saber. Might as well do blue while we're at it. Um, do you want the palette on there, Summer? I want to make this blue a little light blue with a little bit of this like beautiful like it's like a magic-y blue and a little white and a little primary blue. I just want to lighten it all up. Sometimes I get a little messy. Ain't no fuss. Ain't no muss. All right, so I got this yellow. We're gonna turn this green. We're gonna take a little green. Take a little green, a little punchy, punchy green. Maybe a little touch of green ink. It's a little intense. A little bit of that off white. We don't got, we don't want, we don't need to go to the punch immediately. The reason we're doing this over yellow, it just adds a lot of intensity to the green. We want that intensity, it's a lightsaber. Now for this yellow saber, we want to keep this yellow, but we want to create that, that sizzle. <laughs> what would you use as a base layer for blue then? Uh, this was the off-white and then just a mix of blues to make a light blue. It's the same off-white. We're going to use the same off-white for the base layer of every lightsaber today. So the yellow one is pretty easy in my experience. We're going to just add some off-white and some yellow ink. We're going to pick our angle. Um, unfortunately, this is the bottom of the saber, but for painting today, it's going to work really well. I'm going to start right at the base of the saber. I'm going to get a jagged crackle from tip to emitter. For your yellow saber, why not use pink underneath? You can, by all means. Pink usually has a good buildup. And I want that white beam. I want that pure white center. I'm going to use yellow ink to tone it all down and bring it all back. Now 
Now, the one thing I see happen a lot of times is sh shading on lightsabers. Not a fan. Um, so, like, the underside facing the ground gets shaded a lot. I'm not into that. Um, I like to keep my lightsabers real punchy all the way around. That being said, I like to pick two angles, my primary viewing angle, so the front of the miniature, and then maybe, like, a back angle and put that white line in there. We're gonna take a little orange, just the slightest touch of orange, the slightest touch of yellow ink. And we wanna put some of that warmth in there. We're just gonna glaze it. This is gonna go over that white, but you're gonna see that white through there. And this starts building up that intensity. Yes, you're very welcome. Glad you're here hanging out, learning how to paint. It's like, you know, one of the most primary functions of the hobby. Or, I mean, it just is the primary function of the hobby. Um, so glad you're here and hanging out and spend some time painting with us. Uh, super light green with a tinge of yellow. Same thing. We're going to build up the intensity on the saber with little scratches. I would usually choose where this, this lies based on where the uh, lightsaber is in relation to the miniature. And we'll do the same thing on the blue. We're just gonna kick up that intensity. I hope to see all the Shadow Point characters in Legion. I mean, if you're if you're new to a stream. You might not know. Uh, Shik and I always talk about like every character is somebody's favorite. And on a long enough timeline, given the opportunity, you know, help us help us reach that opportunity. And, you know, we want to do everything. Go another step up with white. Just keep those scratches nice and loose. We're just going to rotate through a whole bunch of colors today. I hope you're ready and taking notes. Pure green ink. I'm going to thin this down quite a bit with a little water. I'm going to drop that green ink on there. Nice glaze, starts building up that intensity. Same thing with the yellow, add a little more orange to that orange yellow mix. I want to keep this real subtle, right? We don't want to over orange it. Just let that glaze out. And add just that tinge of warmth. Now here in a little bit, we're going to paint a seventh lightsaber. Should we do orange lightsaber or black lightsaber? We're going to go with blue ink now. On the, oh, no, let's go with blue ink and a little blue paint. We want to increase the intensity on this blade. Letting a little bit of that white scribble shine through and we'll reinforce that.
Harumpenstein. We cannot talk about anything that is not released. So if you know about it, I can talk about it. If you don't know about it, I can't talk about it. Sorry. Sorry. A little more white kick up. That green. We can go almost pure white on that. You know what, Harump? I appreciate that. I appreciate you recognizing that's entirely fair. I appreciate that. Understanding that, you know, even though we're excited and we want to share, like, we have a process, we have a partnership, and, you know, we have, a, we have goals and things that we want to achieve, and... We got to do it by the books. We're going to kick it up. One more time. Yellow, white. See those scratches in the background of this? I'm kicking them up. I'm making them more intense. It's a beautiful dance here. I love this part of painting lightsabers. And my process might take a little longer than you're looking for. That's okay. You can ease this down a little bit. Do, but inks is the main thing that I want to talk about. We love sharing stuff. We love talking about stuff. And we always try to give information as soon as it is available and ready. Everything from when a character is releasing and what they do to... When the points come out and all that stuff, like we talk about it as soon as we can and when it's ready. If we talk about it before it's ready, then it has a chance of not being ready. So I can see easing up on this like path and just going like off white and then an ink. Just leaving a little bit of that to, to shine through. I like my glazes. Are you mixing white paint or white ink into the inks you're using? Ah, white paint, just white paint and regular paint. Well, will you consider having a hobby area next to demonstration sales events? It's the best part of our lifestyle gaming. Uh, Daz, it's the fundamental part of the lifestyle, right? Is the hobby. All right, counterintuitive time. Yellow ink, touch of green ink, more yellow ink, more yellow ink, more yellow ink, more yellow ink. Glaze the green lightsaber with a mix of yellow and green ink. And look at that. That's a lightsaber. That brings that intensity to the green is that little hit of yellow at the very end. Just brings that intensity. Apologetic Canada. That's we, that's if we have an announcement, uh, if we have not announced anything, we can't talk about it. Pure yellow ink. Whatever could I be using that for? Right over top of the white scratches on the yellow lightsaber, of course. That brings that intensity back to it. If you wanted to kick that a little bit more, I could throw, you could throw a little more orange down at the emitter on each side of the white just to add a contrast punch. But that's a pretty sassy yellow lightsaber. I'm excited for Cat Bay and wish you had a date for it. All the dates will be coming soon. I'm excited for Cat Bay as well. Super fun on the table. So I'm pretty happy with the green. You can always kick that one more time after that glaze 
and like I like to hit right at the emitter a couple of little dots same with the yellow it's like a just a almost pure white and just a couple of little dots right at the emitter to really cause Uh, confirm. Oh, the foil. Yeah, the foil. Foil is good. So if I take a little turquoise ink and blue ink, mix that together. Turquoise adds like a lot of life to blue. It's that little bit of green and yellow in there. I'm going to glaze over our scritches. And the blue. Do we have any questions on the green and yellow? I think that blue could be a little lighter, but. Questions, anyone? Remember, blue is a bully color. It's, a, it's the most powerful color. Now, pitch of white right at the end to really cause that intensity. So the yellow, it does have a smidge of yellow or orange right at the base. It's got just the tiniest touch. You might not be able to see it perfectly, but there's just that little hit right there. Yeah, this method is, it, w when we paint the studio, we got to think about a full 360 reveal of the miniature. Um, and so this, this, this has been like what we've been working on in the, in the studio on how to paint lightsabers. And then um, it, it lets us have a 360 effect because lightsabers are, you know, it's dead center white and then with a glow of, of a color. And of course, you can't do that on a miniature. So this kind of gives you that same uh, feel with intensity because you're using the inks. Inks are super, super pigmented, and we want to get that intensity. I'm pretty happy with these. It's pretty quick. If I was doing it for a studio, I'd probably take a little more time. Let's see what we got here. We got another lightsaber arm. Imagine that. And we got another lightsaber arm. Imagine that. So what do we want to do? We want to do white. Let's do white. I'm going to use pure white. I'm going to pull in titanium white. And I'm going to put the tiniest little touch of this like blue that I mixed up. We'll do purple. So we're going to do white. No, we're going to do white, red, purple. How's that? I have wrecked my brush. Is that going to get removed to your stippling? Your stippling I'm all over the place, yeah. yeah. So this is the tiniest little touch. Tiniest. Do you finish the lightsabers with a gloss or satin? Um, I We actually uh, matte uh dull coat everything um the reason being when we do photography uh the gloss and satin can cause more light to bounce back when we take the, the photography it gets too much light and kind of blows it out so we want to we want to pull back on that so we got to paint in all the intensity that's why we use a lot of inks um, so we're gonna let that dry uh, let's go off white and a touch of orange. I got a really, really powerful orange here. This will be our red saber. As you can see, all the philosophies are kind of the same, right? We're, we're starting with a very, very bright, light color with a lot of, but try to add some intensity to it. 
This one will be our purple. Off-white, touch of magenta ink. It's gonna be very pink. Secret to hot pink is that a touch of blue. It's red, white, and blue. This is how you get hot pink. So for gaming, would I use a gloss? No, I still use a dull coat because I paint all my intensity still. I I I'm I'm I don't use the uh, gloss coat at all. I was taught a long time ago that fixing your fixing stuff and touching it up and repairing your miniatures is just part of the hobby. So, kind of took that to heart. All right, so let's go back to our blue. We got a we got a white with a little touch of blue. And we're gonna little kiss of blue it one more time. We're gonna start right down here. This is the fun one to paint. I love painting the white lightsabers. This one is a little more tricky. We're gonna blend. I want that blue to go up the blade and sort of disappear. And I got something gross on my brush. Gotta get that off the lightsaber. So we're just adding, see how super, super subtle that is? Right at the emitter. Let it blend up just a little bit. You may have a Neapolitan saber, but I, I, I always figure Maul's a Rocky Road guy. We have done OSL many times, uh, Arkelson. Um, we have whole videos about OSL. Um, we have a whole video if you go to our youtube on how to do osl um i did it on a uh um uh legion darth vader all right red saber i'm gonna start with orange ink Orange ink had so much intensity. I just went so much intensity on these red sabers. Purple saber. We're gonna go even lighter pink. We really want to punch that light pink up. How far can we go? Do I use floral UV reactive colors for sabers? I do not. I only use inks and acrylic paints. It's all ink and acrylic. Intensity. Back to our white. Summer, I might have to have a miniature to paint. Do we have anything for me to paint at the end? I'm just, I'm just busting through. Um, 
Just 15 minutes of singing? I don't, I don't think anybody wants that. Star Wars license? All the beasts from Star Wars. Uh, oh, I'm just doing the Star Wars impersonations. Beasts only. Oh no, there's ink. Oh no, there's ink on my brush. Clean it up, clean it up. Quick, quick. Get it off. I didn't clean my brush good enough. I, I prefer the intensity of inks. Inks have a specific intensity that is like irreplaceable. You can use whatever you feel most comfortable with, but for me, the intensity that inks provide is, is really unique and just the, my favorite way of getting that power of a lightsaber, you know? A little white and yellow. Epic Duck, hello. Hello. Time for a little magenta and purple ink. Yeah, we might need something for me to paint, Summer. <laughs> Do we have anything laying around? It's too bad I painted OSL on that Kenobi the other day. What? Oh yeah, that could have been a good See how that ink just is so intense? And especially with magenta ink. Uh, there's some magenta inks out there that are just super intense. All right, let's make sure there's no paint on my brush this time. Let's go to that pure white. Let's try to repaint this white saber over here. It's the same thing, except for right in the middle, you want all that white to shine through. Right, even on this. So it should just be subtle, subtle, subtle blue. Yeah, every, so every color, um, it's, you know, people talk about like, well, yellow is such a, yellow always has such terrible coverage. It's not the paint manufacturer's fault. It's just the pigment that makes yellow in all processing is just a, it's just a, the pigment's not concentrated. It just can't be that concentrated. Um, and then other colors like blue is just real, real powerful. That's why a, a lot of artists will say the words blue is a bully color. It's, it's a bully. It picks on all the other colors. It takes such a tiny amount of blue to just totally destroy anything you're working on. So, um, uh, yellow is just one of the weakest colors, um, pigment wise. And so you got to compensate for that. I'm going to add a little more touch of blue right down by the emitter just to really bring that home. Maybe right at the tip too. And that's how I paint white lightsabers. Is this very subtle, very much a light blue kind of effect. I'm feeling pretty good about my purple. I think we can need to punch that middle section. Just a touch. A lot of white and magenta ink. Magenta ink straight into white paint. Just add that hot center. I like these little scritches. It makes it feel energetic and kinetic. Let's 
not moving on me. Oh, there's a lot of neat characters in SharePoint that do not have lightsabers. Super, super thin glaze, just to bring that purple back a little bit over that white. And then we'll go pure purple. Just a super intense purple. Super thin that though. Just to bring more of that in. It's a pretty solid purple lightsaber. Good brand for inks. Uh, I like Liquitex. It's a good brand of art inks. It's got super high pigmentation. Uh, I'm going to now add red ink and a touch of magenta. Magenta ink just, uh, so if, if you're a real color nerd, magenta is a primary color, not red. Um, because primary colors are the colors that have, that cannot be mixed. And magenta is actually the color that cannot be mixed, not red. Red is a mix of magenta and blue. Um, it's just a weird science thing, like with the way human eyes can pick up certain colors. Uh, magenta is a, magenta is like a doesn't exist kind of color. That's only because we can't process uh, the mix of red and blue a particular way. So I use magenta way more than I use red. I use red as like, I use touches of magenta in my reds to make them more powerful and unique. We're just letting a little bit of that orange shine through there. I mean, I think we showed quite a few characters without lightsabers. So intense red. We got 15 minutes. We gotta wait for our stuff to dry. Isn't that a shame? Little scritches, it gives that intensity. All right, should we try to do a black lightsaber? Yay or nay, chat? Yay or nay? Can you vote? Can I stop you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Do it. Yeah, I'm really happy with the purple's very. I love I love a good purple color. I think purple just gets missed. Um, people don't talk about the color purple. Color purple is a very powerful, awesome color. It's a color of royalty and strength, and it just it's just such a great, great color. Um, so we're gonna try paint this like the dark saber, and that means I think it's gonna actually be easy. Uh, Zed, have you been watching the streams? I've, we've painted like five dark sabers on stream. We we have, we have knocked out some dark sabers. All right, we're gonna paint this lightsaber black. All right, 
black. Imagine that. So with dark sabers, like painting dark saber is a little different than going to paint saber, a lightsaber, because the dark saber's got the edge where you can throw that crackle. So let's see if we can apply that to a lightsaber that's a tube and not a flat plate. We're gonna let that dry. How would using metallic silver instead of white affect the end result on these? Hmm, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I've. I'm. I mean, I'm not gonna leave it at that. I'm pondering. Like, I mean, I've I've done inks over metallic. I just don't. I don't. You don't see the metallic in a saber. And you're just gonna see the metallic when you do it. And it's just. I think it's. It's not gonna read as light. So we're we're trying to like capture the way light works. We gotta go back and finish this. Uh, we gotta go back and finish this um, lightsaber, this red lightsaber, though. That is not the right color. I don't like that color at all. Try again. Off white, orange ink. Yes. That's intense. That orange ink and the off white. That's intense. Same thing. I'm picking my angle, my viewing angle. Um, normally this would be the front of the saber, but for this painting demonstration, we're using this edge of the saber. Black, we're going to do another coat of black. Sorry, Twitchy, I can't talk about stuff that hasn't been released. That's the rules. Let's put the tiniest dot of blue ink into this black for our dark saber. I hope we got more brushes in the studio. My brush is shot. Yeah, it's mainly the darkness is my problem. The darkness is silver. Okay, will you be painting a green lightsaber this year? Fun fact, just painted a green lightsaber. I'm the untrickable. You can't trick me. Say my. Oh, they really have. <laughs> Just for Josh, I'm gonna really kick up this purple lightsaber. One more layer of like light pink. Really get those scratches in there. Like I said, I would do this on two sides. I pick the same effect on like the one side facing the viewer and one side facing away from the viewer. And then we're going we're going to go really up Punch that intensity. See that little bit of dark right there, right where it right at the emitter. That's that space that gives you that little bit of punch and contrast.
How's that? How's that purple look? That was brush cleaner or brush repair gel. Oh, everybody asked me this. I'm really bad at brush maintenance. Just the worst. That's all I'll say. There are some really good brush cleaners out there. Get yourself a good artist brush cleaner. Clean your brushes. Don't be like me. Uh, question does. What part of a miniature do you enjoy painting the most? Something with freedom or predetermined? What do you mean predetermined? I'm not sure I understand that. Please define Daz. Please define. I'm going to take a drink. I'm very thirsty. I got the thirst. All right. I'm pretty happy with the with the red saber as well. You could go another step, just more yellow. Just once again, just the the further you go with these little scratches. And just slowly build up and go with the inks and the scratches and the light. You really just get a more and more intense lightsaber. It has to look like this. Nothing has, in miniature, nothing has to look like this. Nothing. How often do you paint a character exactly how it's supposed to be? How often do I... Do you like the green style a lot? Or? I mean, even when I'm painting like, even when I'm painting something like Darth Vader... Right, Darth Vader is black with, he's got black armor, black cloth, and he's got like black, um, like two types of black cloth. And I still find freedom there. If you look at any of my my Darth Vaders, which I've posted on the internet before, um, you'll see like I like to throw a red OSL. As I said, there is a red OSL. You should totally look at red OSL um, video on our YouTubes. Um, it's very easy to find. I'm sure we can get somebody to post it or something and um, if anybody's listening. Um, um, I like to throw red in there. I like to throw a little green in there. I like to throw some blue in there. So I like to find freedom in that. Um, that being said, I painted characters as completely non-canonical. Um, you know, I got some bone and black uh, Mandalorian uh, Super Commandos for Legion that goes in my... Uh, Shadow Collective Army. Um, so I, and I always find my freedom in p just painting miniatures. It's, it's still expressive even if I'm following the recipe um, or re following the, the what it's supposed to look like. So I always try to be creative no matter what I'm doing. Um, I like both. I like, I like finding, I like having just complete, like I can just do this however I want, which I've done before, right? I've done Dark Yoda for Legion. Um, on paint streams. We've done non-canonical colors like Schick did uh, uh, DJ Pajamas Yoda once. Um, but also like there's something about like painting something like like painting Grogu like Grogu and trying to figure out how to do that, right? You're taking something that's like, you know, three foot tall and the light works in it in this way and then translating down to something that's literally like 15 mil, 12 mil tall and trying to figure out how light works on it. There's something very creative about that process. So I, I like, I'm, I, I like a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's, that's the fun of paying miniatures. It's, it's your hobby and you get to participate how you want to participate. It's, it's your expression. It's your time. You know, if you're having a good time, I'm having a good time and I want to see you succeed in your painting. And uh, hopefully we can work together to make, you know, come together and paint some cool stuff and get them on the table and have fun because, you know, we've chosen to play games that have a hobby aspect, you know. Legion, Shatterpoint, uh, these are hobby miniature games. They are designed as such. Uh, so painting is, is the fundamental aspect. Um, it doesn't have to be a solitary endeavor. I love painting with groups and making it a communal experience more than I like painting alone. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a great way to motivate each other and spend time with your friends or family um, if you get that opportunity. It's a great way to like have creative expression and to tell the story in the world that you love, that we all love. 
and uh, just have fun. And you know, you you do paint more than you play. Like it's just you do, right? You're choosing to be in a hobby mentors game. You, you're just going to paint more than you play. You, it's just the fundamental aspect of hobby miniatures. It takes, you know, an hour to build a miniature. It takes, you know, an hour, two hours, three hours, 120 hours, a thousand hours, if you're doing it for real competitions, uh, to paint the miniature. So, but it only takes like 45 minutes sometimes to play a game. All right, we're building this up and I'm trying to go back and forth to create like a up down heartbeat like pattern around the surface. And I'm just trying to keep create little jags, little dags and lines, like little slashes. Try to keep them all at the same angle too. I want them all, I want to slowly build up. I was going to talk about how long it takes, even an experienced hobby is how long it takes to put together the Dark Trooper box for Legion. Uh, I don't know how long it takes. I, I, I put mine together in like 30 minutes. I, I, I'm not sure what the question is there. I paint me to spend more time hours with the spell. Sir, that's awesome. Um, I myself, my partner, and I both are hobbyists, so I get to experience that, and it's a lot of fun. See, she wants to she wants to build some Mandalorians for Shatterpoint. And I'm like, you can have the Mandalorians, but wait, I want the Mandalorians. Little scratches on two sides of the dark saber, the dark light saber, the saber of darkness, the light saber of dark. So many contrarian words here. Yeah, it's odd seeing the dark saber scheme on a tube. It's it's uh it's an interesting uh process. Like it it's not quite the same, but as, on the other hand, I think it kind of works. Y'all voted for it. Don't blame me. That tip should totally roll around and touch the other side, though, for sure. Red Saber, you're in the way. We're just slowly building up little scritches and lines to create that, like, and this is kind of what I'm doing on all the sabers. Just I'm going over it with inks and stuff to create that intensity and then reinforcing it one more time. Holy cow. We only got a few more minutes. You better get your questions asked because I think I've painted seven lightsabers in an hour. It's not bad. We got white, black, red, purple. Can, you get them all in there? can I get them all in there? Let's yeah. see if I can do it. That's my challenge. Can we get them all in there? Red, purple, blue, yellow. I think my yellow one's my favorite. I gotta see. I think the purple one's mine. The purple one looks really. Or let's turn it where the, the proper, you know, finished sabers facing out. Around and green. The oh, green looks really good too. We got all on there. Look at that. Wait, we're missing one. No, we're not. There's seven. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, I'm seven. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was counting the hands, not the sabers. <laughs> six hands, seven sabers. <laughs> six hands, seven sabers. So, do you have any questions? It's all it's all the same philosophy, right? We 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 started with an off white. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. We used a little ink to punch it up. For every single one. For every single one. We used a little yellow ink for the green, yellow ink for the yellow, yellow ink for the red. We used uh, magenta pink ink for the purple. 
and then we used a light blue ink for the blue. Uh, we used no inks for the white saber because that's just off white and then pure white and then a little blue and then pure white again. Very, very minimalistic, but very, um, it's a tricky one because you don't want to overpower it. You don't want to go too blue or you just lose the whiteness, but you don't want to go too white or you don't get any contrast. You don't get any build to the uh, cylinder there. Um, and then the dark saber was just fun. Just a little, it's literally just black with a touch of blue ink in there. There's just the slightest kiss, just a simple like a little angel kiss, a blue ink in there, and then just pure white scritches on top uh, to make it worth um, make it worth uh, the punch. Um, but everything is just very simple. It's all the same philosophies. You're just building up lines and scratches, glazing them down with a little ink to give them more punch, and then just reinforcing it one more time. Um, I don't think anybody has any. If y'all don't have any questions, I'm baffled. I'm shocked. I don't believe you. I just, I just did, I just, did I just do the thing? I just do the thing? Uh, I currently don't have any information about Gen Con. Um, sorry. Um, can you use this technique on other parts? Absolutely you can. You can use this on, I don't know, force lightning. Dooku has some really dope force lightning. Uh, you could use this on any sort of special effects. Um, um, I use it this effectively same technique on like yeah. um, computer monitors. So like your Shatterpoint terrain has like some wonderful little computer monitors and nodules. Uh, Darth Vader's buttons. Oh, talk to the thing. Hey, a light. I need a thing. I got Zony out over there just chatting. Uh, you can use it on like lightsabers, uh, you know, Darth Vader's buttons, uh, control panels, uh, anywhere you want to bring intensity, special effects, force lightning, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a good way to like off white, little ink, reinforce, glaze it, and then punch it. Does that make sense? Can, can we make that an acronym? That's a terrible acronym, probably. Yeah. That's a terrible acronym. Terrible, terrible acronym. Uh, thanks for saying if you don't have anything like I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. We, there might be lots of things. I just don't personally know. Uh, Shatterpoint Spire Joys next week. Mm, no, nope. I know what's next week. Do I know what's next week? I know it's next week. Um, you know, Shatterpoint sticks. Oh, yes. Your Shatterpoint uh, movement w widgets and measuring widgets. Make them look punchy. There's a force lightning one. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, oh, everybody's saying goodbye. Okay. Let's say goodbye. Some are you ready? It's four minutes over. That's okay. We won't... I, I didn't want you to be angry with me because I don't ever give you time to go over. I've never been angry with you. No, I know that. But... I just like to grouse. I just want my. I just want to go over sometimes, <laughs> which I got to do. Thanks. You get one time this year. One time this year I get to go over. And this is the day. All right. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you're ready for Shatterpoint. You can apply these lessons, philosophies, ideas, and sophisticates. That's not a real word. Uh, to your Shatterpoint lightsabers and Darth Vader buttons. Um, remember, every Tuesday, every Wednesday here on Twitch, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can check us out for a time of Mass Transmissions Live. The third week of the month, we play games. That's going to be the 30th, the 29th and 30th of this month. Did I nail it? Man, I'm terrible at dates and math and I just did it. Wow. Um, and then if you want all the latest news information and announcements coming from Atomic Mass Games, check us out on Twitter and or uh, Instagram. It's a lot of fun there uh, where the marketing team shows you all the fun stuff coming up. So until next time, go be the hero you want to be. Talk to you later. Bye.